This is the new BMW XM. Wait a minute, didn't Citroen do an XM back in like the 1990s? That was a bit of a weird looking thing too, wasn't it? Anyway, back to BMW's XM, that's why you're here, right? Now it's a completely new hybrid SUV that looks set to absolutely destroy cars like the Audi RS Q8, Porsche Cayenne Turbo, and even the Lamborghini Urus. Sorry about that, Yanni. No! Anyway, here's the car wide top 10 things you need to know about the new BMW XM. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. This car looks nothing like any other BMW on sale. For starters, it's massive. It's basically the size of an X7, but somehow it has an even bigger grill. Just look at those massive nostrils. It's like someone tried to draw a pig from Angry Birds using just a ruler. It's just as bold from the side too. It has a more sloping roof line than an X7 to give it a coupe SUV vibe. And this concept has two-tone paint separated by some black trim that also hides the door handles. In fact, it's covered in so many straight edges and hard angles that it looks like an ultra posh armored vehicle. Even the wheel arches are made out of straight lines. At least the 23 inch wheels around, otherwise it'd be a bit uncomfortable to drive. Also, the wheels come with freely rotating hubs, so the BMW logo always faces upwards, just like on a Rolls Royce. There are some neat features at the back too. Okay, so the weird exhaust pipes make it look a bit like a vampire with an underbite, but I do like the stretch brake lights, especially how they flow down into the bumper reflectors. But what do you think? Do you like it or do you think BMW has completely lost the plot now? Let me know what you think of this super SUV in the comments below. BMW has confirmed the XM will be the first ever plug-in hybrid M car, but don't worry about that. It'll still have a massive V8 under that huge bonnet. BMW hasn't confirmed yet, but you can bet it'll be based on the current 4.4 litre twin turbo engine you get in the M5 and the M8. Now, unlike those cars, the XM also has an electric motor that boosts its total power up to 750 horsepower. That's 115 horsepower more than you get in a BMW M5 CS, which means the new XM is the most powerful BMW road car ever made. It's also got 70 horsepower more than you get in a Porsche Cayenne Turbo SE hybrid long name car. So the XM is also the most powerful SUV ever made too. But that's not all. Because the XM's insane 1000 newton meters of torque is a whopping 230 newton meters more than you get in the Porsche. So it should feel extremely quick when you put your foot down. The question is though, why is BMW building a 750 horsepower hybrid SUV now? Shouldn't it concentrate on making fully electric cars? cars like the i4 and the iX. Well, 2022 is actually the 50th anniversary of BMW's high performance M division. And nothing says happy birthday like a super SUV with 750 horsepower. In fact, the XM is going to be an M exclusive vehicle. There won't be any other lower powered diesel or petrol versions. Now this means that the XM is only the second M exclusive car BMW has ever made. The first was the M1 supercar from the late 70s. To celebrate this connection, BMW has given the XM two two laser etch BMW badges in the upper corners of the rear windscreen, just like the badges on each side of the M1's engine cover. Loads of brands are giving their latest cars fancy lights to help them stand out. Even the Volkswagen Golf has full width daytime running lights now right across its bonnet. But the new BMW XM is on a whole new level. For starters, there's a big LED ring around both front grills, a bit like the illuminated panel on the front of the electric Mercedes EQG. The XM also has some extra high mounted spotlights above the windscreen, just like that car, although they're flush with the roof rather than mounted on a roof rack like on the Mercedes G. But the BMW's headlights are just plain weird. You probably think they look pretty normal. However, those narrow triangular bits underneath the bonnet are actually just the daytime running lights. The real headlights are underneath. You can't see them because they're hidden behind some translucent black trim. BMW says this two-piece design will inspire loads of other luxury cars in future. One of these will be the next BMW 7 Series, and you can actually see that car's strange headlights in these photos of a prototype being tested. But the two-piece design on the XM really reminds me of another Citroen, this time the C4 Picasso. BMW hasn't yet confirmed any performance stats for the new XM because what you see here is technically just a concept for now, though there'll hardly be any changes when the production version goes on sale next year. And when it does, it'll be one of the quickest SUVs ever made. 
fact. After all, it'll have 100 horsepower and 150 newton meters more than you get in a Lamborghini Urus. And being a hybrid means its electric motor can deliver torque instantly. Now, I reckon the XM could be about to absolutely smash the Lamborghini's official 0 to 60 mile time of 3.6 seconds. It might even get close to the M5 CS, which can do 0 to 60 in three seconds flat. Well, that's officially, I've actually timed it quicker at sub three seconds. Now, if you want to see more on that car, click on the pop-out banner in the top right-hand corner of the screen to watch my full in-depth video review of the M5 CS. The new BMW XM's interior is a weird mix of brand new tech and old-fashioned materials. Now, let's start with the futuristic stuff. Yet a curved infotainment screen that looks just like the one you get in the iX, but it has brand new M graphics. The dashboard is made of carbon fiber, but it has extra copper threads woven into it to make it look even more fancy than normal. I also like the three air vents in the center console. There's a digital display in the middle and each vent has a bit of colored trim that matches the colors of the m logo that's all well and good but why did bmw decide to give it seats that seem to be made out of the same leather that you get in the seats you find in old people's homes now i'm sure they're very supportive but they look a bit weird in a brand new hybrid suv don't they if you don't like the front seats don't worry because the xm looks completely different in the back it has bright blue fabric seats and green shag pile carpet like the bathrooms in a 1970s toilet. Probably the toilets are the people who are now in the old people's home. Anyhow, I do like the headlining. It looks a bit like a wireframe map from an 80s sci-fi movie. And it comes with ambient lighting in the same colors as the BMW M logo. Now, BMW hasn't made the XM a plug-in hybrid because it wants to go green. Yeah, it's a plug-in hybrid for added performance, as simple as that. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy some eco-friendly side effects. BMW hasn't said exactly how big the XM's battery is, but it has confirmed it'll have around 50 miles of electric only range. So you'll be able to cruise silently through your city center without being hassled by the Extinction Rebellion. These photos show an XM prototype being tested around the Nürburgring. I reckon this means that BMW's engineers are ready to try and break the lap record for an SUV on the Nürburgring. That is the question. Oh, I need to learn not to say that place. Anyhow, the current record holder is the Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT, which is a lap in seven minutes and 39 seconds. That car only has a mere 640 horsepower and 850 newton meters of torque, which is 110 horsepower and 150 newton meters less than this new BMW possesses. So the XM stands a real chance of getting close to the seven minute 30 mark. Well, as long as it can handle as well as the Porsche which might not be possible, but anyway, we'll find out. If you want to see more about the Cayenne Turbo GT and just how amazing that car is, because it is one of my favorite performance SUVs, if not my favorite one, click on the pop-out banner in the top right-hand corner of the screen or follow the link in the description below to watch my full in-depth video review of that car. If you're interested in a BMW XM, you'll be able to order it from next year. Production will start late 2022, and if you're lucky, early deliveries should start before the end of next year. Now, BMW has said that its main focus for the XM is the US market, but it'll also be popular in China, Russia, and the Middle East. Obviously, it'll be sold over Europe as well, with quite a few finding homes in London. Now, maybe I can get one. In fact, if you want to help me get one of these cars, we've put a pinned comment. So all you have to do is click like on that pinned comment which will be saying BMW give Matt an XM because we want him to off-road it and put it in many drag races and I'll forward that on to BMW and you never know it could work. The most expensive normalish BMW is the M8 Competition Grand Coupe. They start from £124,000. The most expensive BMW overall at the moment is the Special Edition M5 CS which starts from £140,000. However the new XM with its brand new hybrid system and bespoke coupe body will be even more expensive. Now it probably costs more than a Porsche K and Turbo GT, which starts from £148,000, and maybe even more than an Aston Martin DBX, which starts from £165,000. And obviously, that's before you've added a few optional extras, which you know, with BMW, you have to do, right? So, yes, this car could set you back as much as a Lamborghini Urus. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know some other videos you'd like to see in the comments below. Click on the little windows to watch some more videos and on the box to go to CarWow because we can help you sell your car and get a great price for it.